Well, the curve was sharp and the train was going way too fast. Late today, federal investigators said that the commuter train was bolting down the track at 82 miles an hour as it approached the 30 mile an hour zone in the Bronx, New York early yesterday. Cars from the Metro North train flew off the tracks and nearly into the Harlem River. Four people were killed. Some were thrown from the train. 75 others were hurt and 11 of them critically injured. Investigators are poring over the data from the train's black boxes to find out why this happened. We have a team of correspondents covering the story, starting with Jeff Pegues at the crash scene. Jeff? And Scott, investigators were able to determine the speed of the train from those black boxes, which also showed that the throttle was cut and the brakes were applied far too late. By the time the train reached the curve, it was traveling nearly three times as fast as it should have been. Earl Wayner is an NTSB board member. The preliminary information, and let me emphasize this is preliminary information, from the event recorders shows that the train was traveling at approximately 82 miles per hour as it went into a 30 mile an hour curve. That speed again was 82 miles an hour at the entrance to a 30 mile an hour curve. The train passed through a 70 mile an hour zone, then entered into a 30 mile an hour curve, traveling at 82 miles an hour, 52 miles over the speed limit. The brakes were fully applied just five seconds before the train came to a complete stop, likely after the train had already started to derail. The throttle was cut just six seconds before the train stopped. It was only six seconds before everything came to a stop that the throttle went to idle. So this was late in the game? very late in the game. The NTSB says it is still reviewing the data from the recorders and interviewing the train's four crew members, among them the engineer, 46-year-old William Rockefeller Jr. On Sunday, law enforcement sources say Rockefeller, a 20-year MTA employee, told first responders that he hit the brakes as he was approaching the curve, but the train did not respond. Investigators say so far they have not discovered any evidence to suggest there was any problem with the brakes. And Scott, they say it's too early to tell if the cause of the derailment was human error or faulty equipment. Jeff, thanks very much.